Savannah Ann, today is a day that always seems so far down the road in life for me, but with you there was never any doubt. From day one, you show me unconditional love and loyalty, which is a truly hard thing to find in this world. Through the last five years, we have grown into mature, hardworking, God-fearing adults, and I couldn't imagine being with anybody but you. You're the perfect combination of beautiful, intelligent, and yes, even a little bit crazy. <laughs> that being said, you're the woman of my dreams, and I can't wait to continue this life with you. You're my best friend, my closest companion, and my unquestioned soulmate, and the person that understands me and makes me laugh the most. The person I trust with the heaviest of burdens, and the person whom I love more than life itself. That's why I vow to you to always treat you with unconditional love and with the utmost respect for you and your feelings. To put your wants and needs above the wants and needs of my own. To always be open and honest, even when it is difficult or uncomfortable. To be attentive to the little things, even in the grand scheme of life. To always think before I speak and act. To be the best husband and someday father that I can be every day, for better or worse, richer and poorer, sickness and health every day for the rest of my life. I love you. I have been praying for you and for this moment for as long as I can remember. I am truly blessed and humbled that God chose you to be the man I spend the rest of my days with. I had no idea of the incredible journey we would embark upon the first night we met five years ago. I can't help but feel fortunate that some of these very people standing here with us were there that night to witness our story unfold firsthand. I would have never imagined that the sweet and charismatic boy with striking blue eyes and unmistakable smile would turn out to be the man that waited for me at the end of the aisle today. I never imagined that I would find someone that understands me to my very core and loves me all the more for it. Someone who would proudly stand by my side and provide steadfast support should I ever fall. Someone who would push me and uplift me in ways I have never known. A man who is diligently hardworking. I found all of these things and so much more in you, Jack. On the first night we met, we bonded over the Philippians 4.13 verse that states, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I am confident that this foundation, one that we have built our relationship on thus far, will carry us through all the days of our marriage to one another. So with God, our family and friends before us, and those that have left us to be with him, although I know they are here by our sides in this moment, I vow to cherish and value the beautiful gift that is our love day in and day out. I vow to make my life forever yours and build my dreams with you in the center of them. I vow to be the best wife I can be and a great mother to our children one day. And I vow to always put God first with you and never forget where we came from, today, tomorrow, and forever.
Eternal God, we give you thanks for the daunting dynamic of becoming husband and wife. We give you thanks for the beauty of this time and space and the beauty of these two who give themselves to each other. We thank you for all the ways that you fill our lives with love, and especially for the love that you have given to Savannah and Jack. You have brought us to this amazing place of beauty for this celebration. You've grown up drawn to water and rivers, walking many beaches, playing soccer on Lake Erie in Bay Village and Madison in the cold, proposing to one another on Sanibel, being at school together at Lake Hartwell, and having this love of water. I now declare you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Jack and Savannah Danimal. Savannah. You are one of the most gentle, compassionate, and loyal people I know. Your love for your friends, your family, and animals is unmatched. <laughs> Deborah, there is not another person that has more influence in Savannah's life and the woman she has become today given her strength and the mental toughness to take this life head on, to incorporate such a deep respect for herself and to others, to guide, to love, to nurture. This list is endless of the things you have done for Savannah. And I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Whenever Savannah would bring somebody home, I just called him Phil. <laughs> and she would say, why do you call him Phil? And I'd say, because he's just filling in. came home and she brought this guy and she took me aside very quickly before I even had a chance to meet him she said do not call him Phil <laughs> What I love about their relationship is that no matter what they love each other 110% I could go on and on about stories in which Jack and Savannah had my back or supported me. I was there the night that they met. I was there the night that they got engaged. And I'm so honored to have witnessed them get married tonight. I love y'all fiercely, and I can't wait to see what God has in store for you guys. Cheers to the Dana Millers.
day you came into my life was my dream come true. And I can't tell you how proud I am to be your father. I love you. I believe today and the beginning of your marriage will be the easiest. Marriage is hard and it takes two of you to make it or keep it going. I want you to pursue each other all the time. I want you to trust in each other and communicate your needs. And if you do these things, I can guarantee you that your marriage will be the most rewarding things in your lives. I love you both very much. People have asked me over and over this weekend how happy I am. I don't think I can explain to you that there's such a thing as happy sad. Because when you've spent your life or their life bringing them to this point and they're not, they've moved on and they've grown up and they've taken on a life of their own. And you have that empty nest syndrome again. But I think we're gonna be okay. Don't you think so? I think, I think we're gonna be okay. Jack is one of the most caring individuals I know. His passion for those he cares about is truly unmatched. Savannah, you truly are the match for Jack. You're such a caring, inspiring, and passionate person, and I feel blessed to call you a friend. The love you two share is truly special, and in all honesty, I've really only known you guys for a couple of years, but it, it feels like a lifetime of friendship that we've shared. For the brief few years between when we actually started to like each other and when he met Savannah, I was the most important girl in the world to him. Now I don't love having to share that title, but I couldn't be happier that I get to share it with you. Savannah, I know you will always be protected, supported, and the center of Jack's universe. Jack, I know you will always be nurtured, pushed, in the center of Savannah's universe. Your love for each other is steadfast complete and unconditional. You love each other's flaws, fears, and insecurities as much as you love each other's greatest qualities and successes. Together, the two of you are stronger, more balanced, more open-minded, and more generous. Jack. <laughs> you know I give you a hard time. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a hard time if I didn't love you. But I really wouldn't give you a hard time if I didn't love and adore my Savannah. So I entrust you with my special gift. And I have every expectation that you're going to love her, that you're going to respect her, that you're going to honor her, and that the two of you together will do the same thing for each other. <laughs> <laughs>